Another big day in real estate and the housing market. The Fed announces raising rates. What will that be? Those articles and a couple articles on rents and how they're continue to increase, showing that you should be a homeowner. But before we jump in all that, welcome to Real Estate Daily. My name is Troy, and every day we go over the latest news in real estate, housing, and the mortgage market. Now, today, before we jump into it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Boom, boom, boom. Now, any of you out there that are buyers, sellers, whatever, we're going to have some of our best information for you. We're gonna have next week, hopefully, our buyer and seller's guide, but we'll go over that next week. Right now, what's important is what the Fed did today. Let's get right to it. All right, here's what the Fed's, here's what the Federal Reserve's half point rate hike means to you. They raised half a rate, half a, a point, which means that now things have continued to go up. But again, like I said, everyone expected a half a point. What was they gonna say afterwards? What was that news conference that Fed Chairman Powell was gonna say? Well, he said he was gonna continue to raise rates and that turned the market negative. It dropped pretty quickly. It's kind of funny how the stock market tries to, to front run the Fed, to think what they're, they're talking about. And then they go, they shoot up. Literally yesterday in one minute, the, the stock market went up 700 points on what they felt was a, a really good solid CPI number, but really that isn't what really adjusts the rates and, and, and moves the market. It's what the Fed actually does. And when the Fed raised rates a half a point, which they were hoping a quarter point, and then maybe told somewhere in the middle of the year that they were gonna stop, they got none of it. So now we're looking at the market crashing. Now. I'm gonna go over here on a deeper dive on what that means. I personally feel that this was what was expected in the mortgage market, but here's, the, here's what it really affects. And if we go over this, the effects of it is rates you get for mortgage, credit card, car loan, student debt, savings could be affected. I definitely know it's gonna be affected, especially consumer debt. That's what scares me the most. Housing market, I think we're pretty much where we're at. We're gonna float maybe in that six to six and a half range, but consumer debt, which is at almost at all time highs, or it's at 50 year highs at the moment, it just keeps getting bumped up. And that means it's harder for people to dig out of their holes that's, you know, that is more the concerning moment here. People who are renters who use their credit cards are the ones that are most affected by the Fed. There is no question about it. Now, uh, like I said before, what happened after the Fed meeting? Well, here's another talking point. It says, along with the increase came an indication that the officials expect to keep rates high through next year with no reductions in 2024. Wow, that was a little slap in the face to all those, you know, uh, people that hedged, all those people on Wall Street that hedged that the Fed was going to kind of slow down, if not stop somewhere in the middle of next year to the end of next year. We're still going to see what's happening. There's a lot of factors, uh, macro factors across the world. You know, you know, in certain countries that are locked down, there is no oil being used, and that's kind of given a glutton of oil on the market that's kept our oil prices down. But what our strategic oil reserve is at zero. It's empty. It's under empty. And that needs to be refilled. So I don't know if that's going to really affect oil prices, but energy prices were down across the board, and that was good to see that we didn't see it jump up after the midterms, but I'm excited to hopefully we'll keep rates at this point. I know that several of my buddies in the mortgage markets, they want it to go down to under six and they think that we'll have a little housing boom. I don't know if we'll ever hit that point. There's a lot of pain that I think that the Fed is mentioning here is saying as collateral damage, I get that they wanna to continue to raise rates, but they are doing that with the cost of the American public on better or higher paying jobs are going to be released or they're gonna be gone, right? And guess why the unemployment rate's gonna be strong is because the entry level jobs are a dime a dozen, they're everywhere and people can jump into it. But those aren't the jobs that are gonna keep your house payment going or a consumer debt if you have a high consumer debt in your home. So keep that in mind. Next. Uh, next is mortgage applications rose again. They've been up for the last three to four weeks. Diana Olick is 
like I said, you got to say, if you're saying something positive, you got to say something negative. Well, it's down 85% from last year. Well, of course, there is no refis. Come on, Diana. Let's, let's be honest. They're up again 3% this week. They keep going up. I think people have seen that, you know, mortgage rates are down. So because of that, they're doing their, they're having their applications. There seems to be a little bit of momentum from the industry that there's a lot of pent up demand that's gonna happen next year. We're gonna find out if that's, that's really what's happening, but they say these numbers are key to that. Next article is average rent surpasses $2,000. We This is what we expected. Uh, we I, I expect in in a lot of the areas in which people are, are just desirable areas, we're gonna continue to see rates uh, rents go up. Uh, there's certain, you know, there are certain cities across the United States that have rent control or have frozen rents now for years and years. So that really hurts, you know, what the real number is when we look at the CPI number and the average rent. So these are some of the things that we need to go and take a look at to make sure that, you know, that if you're a renter, that you have a plan to get out of rent. If you want to stay in the rent, these are the, this is what we keep hearing. You know, you own nothing, World Economic Forum, right? You own nothing and you like it. If you're that type of person, this isn't for you. But if you're a person that wants to get ahead, wants to get the American dream as a goal, getting a home, guys, put that together now. Put that in a in a, a nice little package, a goal package. We're going to the end of the year. It's nice to go and say, hey, New Year's resolution, let's go for at least the beginning of getting a, a, the, the first steps of, of buying a home. And the last is the, the interest rates. And we saw a huge drop in interest rates across the board. Look at this. This is the biggest interest rate drop I've seen, you know, since we've been doing this. 30-year conforming down 14 basis points to 6.3. We're looking at 30-year FHA down 11 basis points to under 6.3, 6.28. Look at the deep dives on 15 years, down 23 basis points. Jumbo is just this crazy madness. It's flying up and down and up and down. It went down 28 basis points. Now, what will these big mortgage companies do next week uh, or, or today in the next couple of days? Will they look at what the Fed is saying as dovish or they'll look at it as it's going to be even keel, or will they look at it? This is totally negative, and we're going to raise rates. I'm hoping that we don't raise rates today. If we do, then we're going to see that housing market just kind of kick the can down the road. It's going to get, it's going to be rocky road for the next few months, and so we're hoping that the next Fed meeting, which will happen, uh, well, the, the results will happen on February 1st, that we'll see another at least we'll see it go down at 25 basis points and maybe get that for the rest of next year it's all going to depend on unemployment data that's that's the bottom line so well guys if you like the content please hit the like button otherwise do me a favor you guys have a fantastic day make sure your credit card debt is low and i will be doing a more and more things going towards how to buy a home how to sell a home things like that there'll be more of my 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 last week of December. I'm going to focus on those things. So with that being said, you guys take care and I will see you tomorrow.